Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So let's see what we have. We have the Four of Pentacles that just flew out here. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. So lots of pentacles here. Okay, so what is this, Spirit? Yeah, I'm getting good luck. Okay, when I put my hands on this ton of pentacles, I'm hearing there's good luck. Um, it's very much of a divinely guided kind of opportunity coming in for, for somebody here. And if it's not just one opportunity, kind of like I mentioned, you know, there's a way, something about seeing it from a different perspective, the four of pentacles here. You know, that can be holding on tightly, holding on to our fears, our worries, holding on to how we think things should be. And so the message from the beginning here is for someone to know that you may not be able to see this pentacle right now. You may not be able to see <clears throat> this um, opportunity, but... It's something that I feel with the Ten of Pentacles that's guided for you. So let's see, Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this. I'm hearing pointing fingers. There's some... What is this? Yeah, I don't know... Okay, so this can resonate different for different uh, people. Let me just get a confirmation on this message. But I'm seeing some type of um, blaming here. Like either you're at a uh, in a situation with someone that feels like it's draining. You know, maybe some arguments or quarrels or things that are kind of just taking away your energy. Uh, the Knight of Wands in reverse. This could also be, yeah, strength card here. I'm seeing someone's heart chakra opening. I'm seeing someone's heart chakra here that's opening. Um, I was saying something that I lost my train of thought, but there was something about like blaming here, something about pointing fingers, or I don't know. Spirit, what is that about exactly? Okay. Okay, so what I'm kind of getting here is I feel for someone, whoever this is for, that you are being guided to a different kind of location. That could be physical. That could be just your own, you know, life here. I was drawn to use these life purpose cards, which I'll get into. And we do have the Ten of Pentacles, so it could definitely be about your future, your career, your life purpose. But what I'm seeing here with the Seven of Swords, King of Cups in reverse, there's some type of like issue here or some type of, uh, what is the word for it? Some type of like um, uh, storm or turbulence or person in your life causing difficulty or even just within yourself. It's like taking away someone's future path is what I'm being shown here. And this is why we have the strength card in the Ten of Pentacles, because I feel that you may be at a point right now where you're being asked to trust in your own path, trust in your own fortune, I'm hearing, and your own kind of future, essentially, 
because I feel like there's this energy where you are going to be moving th forward very quickly, uh, very soon in your life. And it's like it's not wanted by somebody for you to do this. Or there's some something here causing a holding back with this opportunity. If this is not something outside of you, this could be an internal conflict that you're dealing with. Okay, with the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles reversed. It could even be that this is, for someone, you are almost avoiding your own shadow or your own challenge within yourself. Um, and this is coming from wanting to maybe try to control a situation or... I'm actually getting it can go quite deep also into emotional blockages, traumas maybe from the past with the King of Cups here in reverse that are keeping somebody from um, opening up their heart. Okay, because I said heart chakra here too. But from what I'm getting here, this is mainly about the heart being open to have the strength and the courage to walk into a different direction or to claim your future ten of pentacles there could be love involved too um but i'm, I'm basically seeing here that with the four of pentacles it's you see how we have the knight of wands here too next to it in reverse and the four of pentacles is quite opposite than that this is about a, a barricade the four of pentacles especially in this deck so it's it's almost like someone's um, someone's speeding up of their life has been halted. Um, and again, that could be because of a situation outside of you that is trying to take away your future. And you would that would be a confirmation for those of you who might be someone's gaslighting you or blaming you or pointing fingers at you, or there's just a lot of issues around that. Uh, and the message for you, if that's your story, is that, again, like I said in the beginning, you're meant to, I forgot what the first thing I said, something about see from a different angle. And they showed me the whale here with the Ten of Pentacles. And the strength so this is about the mystery this is also very deep knowledge that someone holds maybe psychic um, spiritual gifts or just kind of being led to a path that is more spiritually fulfilling and also for your not just spiritually but everything it's more fulfilling um, and then for others of you with the king of cups here in reverse seven of swords this blaming this energy I was picking up on is more of you, your own blockages that you may or may not be aware of. And let's say, for example, you are in an unhappy situation or you feel that you are kind of battling with yourself right now. You may not know about it. Uh, or if you're very self-aware, then you could know that there's things that you need to, to to kind of address within yourself or things you need to heal. And if that is you, it's like maybe you're blaming yourself or you're blaming other people for your own problems for some somebody here. And so it's essentially about... Being able to open your heart to everything, to love, to money, to a better career path. Again, since I chose these life purpose cards, I feel like for a lot of you, and look at this, we have strength at the bottom. Um, for a lot of you, it's about your purpose. Okay, for someone here, it's about your purpose, which I think what I'm picking up on is it's sort of everything, you know. Um, but you may need to open your heart to see it from a different angle, to see your problems from a different angle, or to um, just see yourself, see your own life kind of from a more open-hearted, forgiving perspective, because I feel that's what's coming up here with the 
strength in the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm also hearing time is on your side. So if you feel like something is running out or time is running out for someone or you worry that, you know, maybe I'm not where I want to be in my life at this time or maybe a certain situation isn't working in a, in a allotted time that I had in my mind, <laughs> then I feel like this is saying that it's actually with the strength and the Ten of Pentacles. This is waiting for you. It's like I'm getting that this is waiting for you soon in your life. Um, almost like it's kind of being held for you or held for someone here in a in a light, a protective light. What else about this spirit? Yeah, I'm hearing choose your battles, okay? Choose your sides, choose your battles. So again, this whole thing seems to be for someone who needs to um, either choose kind of your own thoughts. Are you thinking positively? Are you thinking more on the negative side? Are you thinking that things are out to get you? Or are you thinking more, you know, that things are working for you? There's some type of like opposites here I'm picking up on. Um, so choose your sides or choose your battles. And on the other hand, this is for someone also, if it resonates with you, that it's almost like where you put your energy right now, where you put your focus, your um, your energy, your thoughts, your heart, your intention is important because if you are giving too much to a situation that is, again, kind of keeping you in a, a loop here or taking from you, then you're choosing kind of the wrong battle, if that makes sense. So you should be focusing on this Ten of Pentacles and Strength. So they're saying choose your battles. Um, what else, Spirit? Yeah, I keep hearing this weight is not for nothing. So there's something about time definitely coming up here. Um, what is this about, Spirit, about time? It's like something like the weight that you're going through is not for nothing, or time is not running out, I keep hearing. So, the, you know, this can really depend on exactly what it is for you specifically, of course. But like I said, I think for many of you, it's your, just the Ten of Pentacles to me is uh, also our ancestors, our legacy, our future. So it's like I feel this is something that you've been building for, um, or something waiting for you that you feel you're concerned, maybe on a soul level even, that this is going to be taken from you or that you won't have this. But Spirit keeps saying that time is on your side. Time is not running out. Um, this wait has been for a reason. And we do have this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So now that I kind of see this, this is saying that this, you know, this would be this offer, Ace of Pentacles, but the fact that it's in reverse just says that this has not been the right time or the weight that you've been having to go through for whatever reason has been for a purpose. What is that message about, Spirit? Yeah, I'm being, I'm, wow, I'm being shown somebody, uh, a crown being put on their head. Um, what is this about? Yeah, again, I'm just picking up on a lot of frustration. I'm seeing somebody kind of storming around in their home, um, very frustrated or even angry. And again, I don't know if this is you or this is somebody around you who's quite angry or impulsive, but um, I'm also being shown somebody signing a document here. Uh, what is this document? Yeah, it's like I'm, I'm hearing I'm refusing to talk to you about this or I'm seeing somebody put their hands over their heart and, and kind of like um, cross their arms and say, I'm refusing to talk about this. We have the Ten of Swords here. We have the King of Wands and we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Let me see, Spirit, what is this? Because, again, someone's refusing with the Ten of Swords. Um, there's someone here who 
feels very defeated, feels very defeated, feels very much like they don't want to deal with something anymore. But I'm seeing someone sign a contract, or if it's not a contract, it could be... Um, okay, I'm kind of getting two things here I'm picking up on. For some of you, there may have been, maybe it's a divorce for some someone. Uh, I don't know, again, if this is you or someone around you, but someone could be getting a divorce or someone could be signing papers that they don't want to sign, whatever that means. Um, and in that case, it's like, yeah, the four of pentacles. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to deal with this. But I feel like it's brought somebody a lot of frustration and pain, okay? And the two stories I'm getting, if this is you that's been in this pain, this is where Spirit's saying that this weight or this energy you've been in has not been for nothing. And you could be dealing with somebody around you who is almost has been kind of putting their foot in the door and preventing you from moving forward, okay? Yeah, I'm hearing cycles keep repeating. Um, so something that just keeps happening a lot. There's someone here who keeps doing the same thing over and over or someone who keeps, um, yeah, repeating cycles or maybe like a relationship that keeps repeating the same thing. Let me see. Tell me a little bit more, Spirit, about this Ten of Pentacles and Strength, please. I'm seeing a lion. So, yeah, Strength could be Leo energy here coming up. We do have King of Wands, Strong Leo uh, energy. I was going to say Presence, and I was just going to say something about your presence. Um, I just noticed I have this on my finger. I don't know what that is. Um, I think it's from the Incense. Uh, with the so, someone's presence here, I'm getting something about your presence, or someone who's gonna have. Let me see. What is this King of Pen this uh, Ten of Pentacles and the Strength card about, Spirit? Yeah, I'm seeing again. Let let go of what you can't control. I'm seeing someone let go of a balloon, and Spirit saying, let go of what you've been holding on to. Ten of Swords. It's like there's a huge release or letting go for someone after a period of seeming to be a lot of frustration, resistance. Um, and again, I think it's going to be different for for a lot of you or for someone here. So Spirit, what is this Ten of Pentacles and the Strength, please? Yeah, don't lose sight, I'm hearing. Don't lose sight of it. Don't lose your grip. Okay, we have the Fool in Reverse, Queen of Wands showing up at the bottom. So yeah, strong Leo here coming up, doesn't have to be, but lots of Leo, lots of fire. We have the Five of Swords in Reverse, and we have the Knight of Swords reversed, wow. Yeah, I'm hearing again, find the silver lining. So it seems like that's really about what this is. Um, let me just tune in here for a moment. What is this here? Yeah, okay. So kind of the same message. I'm getting someone here. I'm hearing tit for tat. I'm seeing a marble going back and forth, like almost like what I, I, I kind of get the sense this is involving another person, probably a relationship or an ex maybe, or someone someone in your life, even if you don't associate with these people or this person anymore, there's been this like dynamic where it's taken again from someone's future, which I feel is you with the Queen of Wands strength, or lots of like super empowering, bold, confident energy. Um, and this Five of Swords over here, the Fool in Reverse, see it's taken from a new beginning, lots of conflict. So, um, yeah, I'm hearing justice too. So yeah, there's been this like tit for tat type of energy. And
I'm hearing someone's making a decision. Yeah, someone's deciding this. What are they deciding? This Queen of Wands, this strength, I, I believe for most is you. Um, you are deciding to do something, or you're deciding to take control back, or you're deciding to change something here. And it's like, again, find the silver lining. Yeah, look at that, the star. So find the silver lining. Find that, because I, like I said in the beginning, for someone here, this is this future is bright. This energy of something more, something better, something um, higher. I'm hearing against all odds. So, I mean, these four cards right here are very powerful. Ten of Pentacles, the Strength, Queen of Wands, and the Star. Um, it's against all odds. Something is happening against all odds. And, um, you know, with, with these cards, the Death card here, the Hermit reversed, the Three of Wands reversed. Yeah, it's like it wasn't um, something here. It wasn't supposed, like, not supposed to happen, but it was... It had to require a big change for someone. And like I said, that could be where you've had to end a situation. You've had to just deal with some things in your own self here for someone. If you've been avoiding a painful cycle, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, King of Cups. Um, it's basically, to put it more simply, it's like a lot of conflict, a lot of heaviness, a lot of weight, a lot of potentially toxicity or people or just, you know, dense things. Against all odds, someone is releasing themselves from that and they are ending or going through a big transformation, a big change, which is propelling someone into their further higher path and, um, bigger and better things and, and lots of healing as well but I did hear making a decision so someone's obviously making a decision to either end something and go into this direction or someone's making a decision to just say that enough is enough with the current like you know issue I have within myself I need to take control of this um, and deciding to kind of cut this hermit energy, five of swords, inner conflict, if it is just inner, but it's probably been somehow, you know, kind of like triggered by other people at some point, if it's not currently. We do have the king of wands and the queen of wands, I'm noticing. Is there anything else here, spirit? Okay, yeah, I'm hearing some, an opportunity is knocking on your door, I'm hearing, with the star, or I'm actually seeing, this could be for some of you, yeah, Knight of Cups, for someone here, there's a person who's going to be, maybe knocking at your door, literally, um, this would be a counterpart, because when I picked up this card, I said something about their presence, I said, so there's something with this, let me see, Spirit, is this, can we confirm, is this a person, Knight of Cups? Okay, so yeah, I'm picking up on like three or four different storylines here, but when I mentioned that there was someone who over here was very resistant, not wanting to talk, kind of crossing their arms, I'm either getting for one group of you, this is about a connection who you're aware of who this is. Um, maybe this was what you went through recently with somebody. And um, Obviously, there's been a, an ending to this conflict somehow. Either two people are going to resolve things, and this person is going to see you and make a decision that you are their counterpart, their match, and they're going to be showing up at your door or just reaching out to you. Um, and this is two people who, if you, for one group of you, you know who this is. Uh, like I said, maybe there was no, maybe there was some type of argument before or someone didn't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to confront my heart. I don't want to confront my feelings. I just want to push this away. Um, and there's been like a weight here. 
And then for another group of you, this is about you, okay? You are this Queen of Wands, I believe, for most of you. You have gone through all this with maybe other people. Maybe this is a new person, this King of Wands. So you've been going through this either with yourself or with another person, other people. You're deciding to cut that away. Spirit is telling you that this weight has been for a reason. You, This is happening to you for a reason. This whatever you've been through for however long, this ton of swords, this pain, this ending, this whatever it is, it's happened for a reason and time has not run out. Um, the, the wait has been for a reason and like I said too, against all odds, you didn't expect this to happen, you didn't expect this to come in, but for this other group of you, this is a brand new person who is going to come into your life um, against all odds. You didn't expect to meet this person. Uh, this person could, I mean, I don't think if they're a stranger, they're going to show up at your door. Hopefully not, but they could, you could meet them somewhere or um, somehow they're going to come into your life. And you felt like this was never going to happen, but it's your heart. Remember I said too, someone's heart is opening. So someone's heart is beginning to open to either new love, okay, or for some of you, this King of Wands is someone you know. And they're deciding to maybe make a big change, a big ending in their life. Um, either with you or with something else. And make that decision to show up here. Show up at your door or show up in your life. I'm hearing whatever this is. Someone's saying here, I want to make the most of this opportunity. It's like they're trying to hold on to every minute. They're trying to hold on to every moment that this is happening to make the most out of it, to like almost, almost like really try to appreciate it the most that they can. Um, okay, so is there any final messages here for this reading? Okay, and lastly, I'm hearing that this is like a building blocks. I'm hearing one step at a time or building blocks with the Knight of Cups here. It's more of like, let's say, because for some of you, it's just your career. It's just your, that was, I think, the third story I was going to mention. For some, yeah, temperance card showing at the bottom. So it's this healing, it's this soothing energy coming in of against all odds, things are going to be okay or things are balancing. Um, so for a third group of you, this is not about love at all. This is you actually balancing your masculine, your feminine side, coming into a whole lot of balance within yourself um, and seeing that all along this was actually your correct you know, career path or life purpose path that you're going to find. And you may have felt that this Ten of Pentacles would never be yours because of the, these issues that we had seen. So I feel that could be for another group of you. but. Um, yeah, but I was hearing it's going to be like a building blocks. Like this is almost like a whole new life for someone. It could be a new location. It could be a new brand new relationship. It could be two people restarting things from brand new energy. Um, and Spirit saying it's going to kind of sequentially build. Um, it's very much laying the groundwork to build a more solid future for someone. And that's the, the main kind of message here. Okay, so one step at a time. Because when this happens, you'll know it, you'll feel it, and it's going to be, someone's going to want to, they're going to feel very happy at, at, at this stage in their life or this situation coming in, and they're going to feel like they want to, or not want to, but they're going to feel like they know that this is kind of the next chapter in their life, okay? So let me grab these cards that I felt drawn to get. This this may not be for all of you, okay? So these can just resonate with a few of you, but I guess there's some confirmation for life purpose for someone here. So what do these cards want to say, Spirit? Okay, one flew on the ground. We have talked to your angels, 
it says instead of worrying ask for divine guidance and again these are about life purpose so for some this is about spirit saying that if you feel worried about what is because again someone feels maybe light time is ticking away or your life is not where you want it to be and so spirit's saying that if you're confused about your career if you're confused about um, anything about your future talk to your angels instead of worrying about it try to ask for support and you'll get more answers that way we have author you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed make the time to write it so that could be for someone if you are wanting to write a book that could be a confirmation for you that this is what this next chapter is um let's see what else it's also just about self-expression too in general with the queen of wands we have sensitivity you're becoming more sensitive and you need to make changes accordingly so yeah someone is becoming more sensitive to energy becoming more sensitive to their future path and again queen of wands here just overall becoming more sensitive we have artist engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life okay so that's another confirmation here and then lastly i don't know why i was drawn to use these talking to heaven cards not sure this could be messages from someone's guides or loved ones who have passed on that wanted to come through today so what is this spirit for whoever this reading is for what messages need to come through for this deck i have no idea why i'm hearing this song i think it's from childhood i'm a little teacup is it it's something like that i'm a little teacup um small but strong something like that i can't remember it but something like that i have no clue why that is coming in my mind maybe that could be a confirmation for someone if there's a loved one who's saying that or something um we have my death was painless please don't worry or hold on to guilt so whoever needs this message i don't know but um there may have been someone who passed and it was painless so they don't want you to hold on to guilt about that um And if that's not the case, if it was not a, a, a death here, for some with the Ten of Swords and death, it's more of like a big chapter in your life ended and maybe there was another person involved, you know, and this is just maybe their higher self coming in to say that. Um, it's not something to feel guilty about. We have, yeah, life is a series of choices. Choose love. So I said that before. Choose your battles wisely. So there's a guide or a loved one here who wants to let you know to choose choose love choose the better option or choose the path that you you feel intuitively and in your heart you know the love someone's heart is opening so someone definitely needs to open their heart and to choose from a place of like love and not so much density and uh, heaviness here whatever this is and if it was a death of someone either for you or for someone you're dealing with in love maybe maybe someone's family or there's something happened here and um it's like not try not to stoop down to that level but instead focusing on uplifting it and love so one more of these Okay, two more we have don't be afraid and we have we will be together again which is really interesting <coughs> excuse me since we have the queen of wands and the king of wands i watch over you every day Yeah, something someone's saying here, I, I really don't know who this is, if it's a guide or loved one or even a higher self of someone you're connecting to, but someone is saying this journey here, I keep hearing there's a journey, the star, this new journey, this journey ahead, someone wants to 
give guidance or let someone know to not be afraid about this really again open your heart dive into love dive into your true purpose your happiness just choosing what is going to uh, really fulfill you because someone's had a lot of fear about this someone's been in a lot of fear a lot of maybe even pain guilt um stagnation and so we will be together again Yeah, I'm hearing it doesn't end here. The journey doesn't end here. So I don't know. That really could be anybody, depending on how that resonates with you. If, if it's someone that recently passed or someone in your life, and that could be just a confirmation saying that, you, you know, you will be together again. Um, but these are two people also who are coming together somehow. And I feel it's a new journey. So... Um, yeah, so that's the reading I have. So I hope that this could help. I hope this resonated. Let me know. And uh, thanks for tuning in and take care.